Oh god. Oh my god, I went almost time. Oh yes, here it is! The uh, Japanese giant salamander is now available in Path of Titans. And because I'm sort of, you know, recording this before it can go live, because we're sort of keeping wraps on this, uh, I can't make a video on it right now, but we will do a, a showcase of it. So let's have a quick check of its abilities and what it can do and animations and all that jazz, as well as at the end of this video, showcasing some funny moments and montages of us playtesting it, because there were some interesting things that happened that... Uh, we had to correct. Obviously, this was made by uh, the Divine Beasts team. I approached them and said, look, I want to put this creature in the game. Let's go into character. And here she, or he is, I suppose, at this point. So there is, uh, I think, four different species. You've got the standard one, which gives you 5% land speed and turn radius. You've got flat, which is just a wide one, <laughs> which gives you three times poison on mucus hide. So that's one you'll want uh, equipped. You've got the paddle tail which is a big, thick tail, which gives you 10% swim uh, speed if you just want to be in the water more. The thick one, which gives you 7% health increase. And finally, oh wait, no, hold on, we got two more. Spiky! Uh, you know what? There's some strange uh, amphibians out there and, and lizards and salamanders. I thought, hell, hell yeah. Let's add, let's add a spiky boy for you edge lords out there. <laughs> and you'll see a skin it actually really works with. And finally, the cooler sutures. This was an idea from one of the uh, members of the Divine Beasts team. And I thought, it's perfect. It, it's basically the same rig. And why? Why not we just give it, you know, change it a little bit and it kind of looks like a cooler sutures. And not only does it look like a cooler sutures, it actually has teeth. So it does change its, you know, appearance more than just its shape. So that one gives you 5% attack damage and 20% clamp weight. So you can grab bigger things. But we'll return to the standard first. A variety of skins have been created by Excited himself and some others have been created by the Divine Beasts team. I'm not going to showcase all the skins right now because we've got to leave something for you to do, as well as there being quite a few of them. Heck yeah, do you recognize it? There we go. It's freaking Kool-Aid <laughs> for Jurassic World, the game. Beautiful. I thought, you know what? We have to put that in. There's a little bit of an Easter egg and there's some patterns you can change, but really not too much. And then if we just sort of change that, you can almost fade it as well. This one is a legendary skin. This one costs 50,000 marks, so... You've got to earn your stripes to get this, whether you're a Kula Suchis or just a standard salamander. This is the plushy skin. Now, I wanted to have, you know, a way that we could get the plushy skin in here and maybe tie it to the release of the plushy. But, you know, there's there's no way of actually doing that with Palatine. Times. So if it was my own game, then maybe we could have a QR code that you could scan if you had the plushy and you would unlock this skin. But to make it rare, we thought, why not? Let's make it a really expensive skin. Okay, here we are on the beach. So the first thing that strikes you is probably the icons at the bottom. They were created by the beautifully and wonderfully talented uh, Grana. They've created the outro for basically all of my Path of Titans videos and have done some shorts with me in the past. And I thought most of the icons in Path of Titans are this sort of cartoony style and they just lend themselves so well. So why not let's have a look at them? So you only have two sensors. You can see clearer underwater or you can get a little bit faster turn radius. Again, quite easy to see from those icons. The head, there's three different bites. There's a normal bite. There is a clamp bite. So clamp and hold and drag and take something away or a chump and that one is the longer you hold it so there's your normal bite the cooldown for this one is a little bit longer and a lot of animals have that and yeah, you can see you can just run around and then yeah, get off a big lump of damage as for sensors you've got a few to choose from this was my favorite picture in the entire thing i just love the way it looks nocturnal which you gain 50 percent increased damage and five percent increased movement speed during night you've hydrated blow so deal more damage to wet targets allowing you to really go for that aquatic Product build, you get, you know, you go for the 10% swim speed, you go for better everything in water, you have that option. Lone Salamander, if you're by yourself, you have 10% armor increase and your maneuverability is also increased. And then there's this one, the Nest Protector, which means you get 8% increased damage for every juvie or baby that's in your team, and that stacks up to three times. So that's up to 24% extra damage, which I don't know about you, but that's quite a lot. And what I like about that ability is that it encourages you to, you know, help new players. Most of the time with this game, you're just sat there while things collect missions and you wait for them to grow. But actually, you can wait for them to grow, get this ability, and while you're waiting for them to grow, you get an attack bonus. Something that's kind of lacking from this game, I thought we could maybe help a little bit by doing that. You also have the left and right turns. 
Not that I think this creature really doesn't turn that fast anyway, but if you just want to catch something off guard, you can sort of do a quick turn. No 180 degrees like the uh, crocodiles, but I thought just a quick turn. You dynamic bites and then you could also do that. But really, you kind of turn quite quick anyway, especially if you have the other abilities that increase your turning speed, like I've got on right now, the Lone Salamander. Dormancy. So this one basically reduces the hunger and movement speed drain, but you're only able to eat fish. You got the carnivore one, which increases your attack by 2%. You got the fisher, which is just slow hunger drain. And this one, the insectivore, increased turn rate by 4%, but only able to eat insects, which is going to be a very interesting one. I mean, if you're in the Grand Plains, there's definitely plenty of insect hills around, or at least it's average food and water drain, but you get that 4% turn radius. And then the hides. You have toxic mucus, which we sort of touched upon before. So if something attacks you, it gets a poison. You have regenerative hide, which 25% increase in heal rate. You have the resilient hide, so you're more immune to bleed and venom, or at least you heal from it a little bit quicker. But I say a little bit, it's 30%. And then the slippery hide, you're unable to be grappled or pounced. I think it's a good one to have, just in case any pesky raptors keep on jumping on you. And the back limb, this is an interesting one. Rapid lunge is the one that you've probably seen in the videos and stuff of things jumping out the water and making funny noises. <laughs> But you also have embankment. So if you stay near the bottom, it basically acts like the hunger ability on an ankylosaur. And then finally tail, you have the paddle tail. And of course, if you want to go from the whole swim build, you've got that. And then you've got the tail, which is light damage. But we also have a whole host of individual emotes. You have first the shake one. And oh, hold on. Yeah, you haven't even heard the noises this thing makes. Kind of a bit of a crocodile element. The friendly. We used a bunch of different frog noises and other salamander noises. You've got this one. Which is just the angry frog that falls into the water. I love that one. Oh, you have this one as well. They also change each time you do them a little bit. There's a little bit of intonations and stuff like that. You've got this is my favorite though. <laughs> there, that's it. That's the one. Although that one also does change. But I do like that specific one. Yeah, that's beautiful. Then you have this one, which is the little scratch of the head. Little scratchies. You have a yawn because, you know, why not? You're tired, you're just resting. Yawn ability is always a classic one to have. You got to dance? I don't know. Happy? Maybe want to attract a mate? God knows. You have a hide one. You hide under your tail because you're scared. <laughs> and then a little like beckon like come on then come here <laughs> and yes we haven't even mentioned about the uh the ability that this guy has so if you go down where there's mud or such and you do the mud roll ability it will tell you that you are covering yourself in mud if you're somewhere where there isn't mud it will tell you that that's not happening but once you do this your a little icon pops up down there and it shows you that you are now covered in mud not only visually but of course that icon and what this means is that any bleed or venom that you had on you stops draining so i could have half my health bar on bleed but now it's no longer being drained however once i go into the water this washes completely off and the bleed will return good news is you can just go right to the side and go to sleep and that will cover all your bleed but it just allows you if you want to go onto the land and you know you're going to be taking lots of bleed damage before you do that you can wait here for a little bit because if we do try to do it while we are wet i don't think it works and that's to stop people from spamming it over and over as well your salamander is wet and won't be covered in mud so you've got to wait. You've got to use it wisely. You can't just do it. There's also this little animation that only triggers. Oh God, I thought I was going to do it there, but then I kind of glitched on a rock. Uh, only triggers when you jump off a rock. Hopefully it does here. Yeah, there we go. And with that being said, how about we check out some, uh, some strange things we did while we were testing this thing. Oh my God, I've done something crazy. <laughs> oh God. Oh. I'm stuck! Help! What? I did the left turn and ran at the same time, and yeah. <laughs> this is not a good thing. Uh, Salamanders don't really make noises, but you know, it'd be a bit boring if it didn't make any noise. Does it work? Oh, oh yeah. 
Oh, yeah. What is the trophy? Nice. Hey. It's the uh, sustainable Dyson's logo. Yeah. Look. That's so cute. <laughs> Excited, if you hold X and then turn around, you do cool little like chasing your tail. Come on. Come on. Almost there. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. I can imagine loads of people just doing this. They're just entertained in front of like a T-Rex. <laughs> that's amazing. Wait, I didn't think about doing that. That's great. Yeah, rapid lunge. That's it. Yeah, I like that. I can see a lot of people just jumping around making noise like that. They're baba. Oh my God, they're all babies. Oh it's Uncle Brutus. Hello, welcome. Yeah, he's a little bit different. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Big screech! Oh wait, you teleported me while I was sleeping. Now I can't move. <laughs> uh, uh, really? Oh no. One yeah, moment. so now I'm on land. I can't... <gasps> ah! What's going on? Did you just fly? Don't worry about it. Don't worry ah! about it. Everything is working uh, as it... There we go. Right. Okay. Three, two, one, die! Oh god. Oh my god, that one almost died. <laughs> oh! Get him with full damage. Oh no, oh no, god. one dive. One dive. Wait, what's your health on? That's still really high. Oh god, it is as well. Oh, excited. Need charging attacks. Oh god. <laughs> Whoever was that tree frog one just ran in straight to that. Oh god, oh god. Oh jeez, even when you're not facing it, it does so much. Yeah, so we, you basically stand no chance against a Spino is what we're seeing here. <laughs> How many salamanders does it take to kill a Spino? That's when we need the 200 server. 199 salamanders. Shadow's like, oh, I don't know about this. Oh, Plant Gaming went in though. Nice try. Oh, that's cheating. Get down from there, yes. Spino. Got that, man. Okay, fine. Shadow down! Go! Oh, the roar. The roar ability. Oh, God, the stomp ability. Oh, look, they've learned. They've gotten smarter. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, Tirita's bite doesn't reach. She's too tall. Ow. Stay away from the bitey end. Ow. That hurt. Oh. Oh, it's not looking so good. More. <laughs> oh my god, way more. The stomp even seems to be a smaller radius. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh. No, excited. What was that? My bike's are too high. You need, yeah, you need a crouch, yeah. Yep. Oh, that's fun though. Knowing that yeah. if a bunch of salamanders attack a T Rex. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know, he's trying- he's sort of getting it back now. Though the health is still continuously going down. They just need to take turns, communicate. I mean, which they obviously can't do. Oh, that was a lot of damage! <laughs> it, yeah, exactly. Oh! Oh! Wait, how many kills is that? Three kills so far? I think three kills. So seven still left to kill. Oh, I think that's six. Ooh. Oh. No. I mean, T-Rex could really just put his back up against the wall and just have it done right. That's what I've been doing. It's not helping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the There's fake so houses need to keep coming. Pretend you're dead. Hide in the dead ones! Hide in the dead ones? Inside of me? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't! I wouldn't be able to see what I'm biting. Some of it is. Right. Oh, oh! An aggressive play from the T-Rex! He's coming out! Oh my god. Oh, but he's out in the open now. I, I can only imagine how terrible a Rex would be if it made a crossing and there was 10 salamanders in there. I think once there's only one left, it's it's pretty much that. That's yeah. it, really. If the T-Rex is out in the open, it could definitely get killed. Yeah. Yeah. 
But the chances of a salamander also being out in the open, and there's 10 of them, is very low. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Go. Go! I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. <laughs> ah! No! Oh, wait, what? Oh. Oh! This is great! <laughs> oh, okay, so my health, right, I get you, I get you. My health didn't decrease, the overall increase, got you. <laughs> Everybody stop him. No. No. Yes. Does anyone else? Anyone else want some? Ah! I'll get you. Come on, you. We're going for a swim. Oh. <laughs> 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 you can see wiggling in the air. He shouldn't have yeah. given him this power. <laughs> it's good power. I like this. Ah! Oh, he died. Oh. I think I ran out of, uh, what'd you call it? I forgot a drink. Well, that, well, that was fun.